What is going on everybody? We just got word that Mercedes-Benz just made some big improvements in their Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis. Today we're hanging out at the Hershey RV show in Hershey, Pennsylvania, and we have a 2023 Gretsch Strata Ion and a 2024 Gretsch Strata Ion. Now, the 23 is gonna be on the 2022 Mercedes-Benz chassis, and the 24 Strata Ion is gonna be on the 2023 Mercedes chassis. So this 2024 has the new engine and the new transmission. So today we're gonna drive both of these vans and compare the 22 Sprinter chassis to the 23 Sprinter chassis and see if there's any improvements. Now, a lot of you have seen over the last six months, I've been rolling around in a 23 Strata Ion. I love everything about it, but I did mention one of my dislikes on that van in a previous video and the folks at Gretsch were listening and they did make an improvement on the 24 as well. So we found AJ, Vice President of Gretsch in the new 24 Strata. Uh, how you doing today, sir? Fantastic. Yeah, we're having an amazing Hershey show. Thank you for being here, of course, as always. Yeah, very exciting year. We're now selling our new 2024 model year units. Uh, what we're sitting in right now is a 2024 Strata Ion all-wheel drive. So the 2024 Gretsch RV Strata units are built on the 2023 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis. Now, all the 2023 Mercedes Sprinter chassis have a new powertrain. So very exciting there. They're going away from the six-cylinder turbo engine with a seven-speed transmission to a new bi turbo four cylinder diesel engine with a nine speed transmission. So we're picking up 10% more horsepower. We're going from 188 horsepower to 208 with a new engine, picking up more pound feet of torque as well, going from 328 pound feet of torque to 332. And that new nine speed transmission is uh, a lot smoother. The new engine, of course, not only more power, but lighter weight and more efficient. It's gonna be more fuel efficient, significantly quieter. And now for the first time, we have the optional all time all wheel drive on our Strata chassis as well. What's new for 24? Now in all our new 2024, model year units. We're installing the new Eco Cool system by Gree, which is distributed by Premier Products based out of Elkhart. This system is significantly quieter than the previous 110 volt Dometic. This is also 110 volt, but this system is 50% the decibel output and it's also 30% lower amp draw. So on our lithium ion battery package, you're gonna get significantly more runtime on those batteries with this new AC, and it's very quiet. Uh, it also has a built-in dehumidifier, built-in heat, which complements, of course, our diesel fuel fire Timberline heating furnace. So we're very excited about that as well. Very cool, and then I know in 23, there were still some supply chain issues. I think that was the reason that you were stuck with that particular AC unit. Now, if someone does have a 23, is there a way to upfit the newer AC unit into that, or? There will be here very shortly, yes. Uh, Premier Products is working on that. They're just working on the retrofit kit for us, and we're probably uh, about 60 days out from that, but they are working on it. So. Now, from the exterior, these vans do look identical. We do have two different floor plans, so let's take a quick look around these two vans, and then we're going to take them both for a cruise and see how this new 23 Sprinter chassis compares to the 22 Sprinter chassis. This does have the captain's chairs up front with the entertainment center up here. You can see the headphones for that entertainment center. There's a little table housed right Right there where you can spin the captain's chairs around have a nice eating area up front here you've got your simple wet bathroom with a shower and then a really good size rear lounge this all does fold down into a bed we've showed you that in some of the other videos so one of the complaints i had in the 23 strata ion was that the ac was very loud i do like the white noise when i am sleeping in the van i sleep very well in the strata ion but if we're hanging out back here and trying to have have a conversation sometimes that ac is a little bit too loud so this is the newer improved ac the folks at gretch were listening and we're going to turn it on here on this panel here on the panel we just press the cool button there that AC is so much quieter. We'll turn on the AC in the 2023 in just a second, but I really like this table back here. It swivels around. A lot of times we use this as a mobile office when we're filming over at the Motor Coach store or when we go to Liberty Coach. We always bring the Strata Ion, so we come back here. We start transporting these files. We've got all of our outlets and USB ports to charge our cameras and microphones and computers so we can make these videos. Our efficiency 
has gone up so much with the Strata Ion. We're able to get a lot of editing done while we're rolling, especially with this lithium package. It's so cool, but, but let's go take a look at last year's Strata Ion and see how that AC compares to this. This floor plan is a little bit different than the one we just saw with the captain's chairs. This does also have this large wardrobe closet up front here. I really like utilizing that, being able to hang my shirts before we film. Very similar rear of the coach here. Now, this AC unit is not quite as sleek. I feel like it comes down a little bit more. And let's fire it up again, just simple touch panel. Press that cool button. So now we're in the back of the 2023 Strata Ion. It's not quite as flush and definitely a lot noisier back here. We'll have to compare what it was like me talking in the 24. That AC is so much quieter versus now. But, but I'm really excited to drive that 24. So let's take this for a quick spin and then we're gonna drive the 24. All right, now this is identical to my van other than the exterior color. Interior all feels the same. I've got to put this back a little more. I don't know if we've ever shown you guys too. This will flip around and there's a little desk that flips up back here. Really cool. A lot going on here in Hershey, Pennsylvania at the RV show. Uh, you can see this is the Hershey Amusement Park back here. Or the, all the RV companies are here right now. All right, so I want to get somewhere. We're kind of in a parking lot, but I want to get out on a main road where we can really accelerate and really try this out. I'm gonna try to get you guys in, as close to a zero to 60 as possible. And I do hear the AC back there, even though it's in the back of the van, doesn't bother me really. Now, Andrew, you do a lot of editing in the back of the van when we're rolling around. What's uh, what's your consensus? I mean, it's definitely comfortable. It's hard to hear you sometimes back there now, but. That's why you wear headphones when you're editing anyway, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, cool. We're going to hammer down on this road. It is a 25 mile an hour speed limit. So, and I'm so used to driving Sprinter vans. Those of you that have followed the channel for a long time, when I started this channel, I had a Sprinter van that I used as my detail van. A lot of you saw the Leisure Travel van I've had. I grew up working for Mercedes Benz. Uh, you may have seen the video uh, where my father talked about how he was involved in brokering the chassis from Mercedes Benz to Airstream. I think they're doing like 750 chassis a year for like. 10 years or so. So I've been around the Sprinter chassis for a long time. So this engine and this transmission is similar to like what I had in my 2014 detail van, to be honest. But we're gonna do a zero to 60 comparison test right now. We're coming out of a turn, but uh, no turn on red right there. So Andrew, if you can start a timer when I hit the throttle, and we're gonna time the zero to 60 in both of these coming out of a turn. So it's not a, a, a true zero to 60. All right, we're hammering down. There's that kind of a little bit of a lag. All right, we're going 25, 30, 36, 45, and I'm gonna stop at 50. 49. I got to 49 there when I said I'm going to stop at 50. So we're going to do a 0 to 49. We went four miles over the speed limit. We want to uh, not break any laws. Now this is my first year at the Hershey show, so I'm definitely no expert. I will give a recommendation off of the few hours that I've been here. I see a red robin about two or three minutes away. We tried to get some food inside of the Hershey RV show. I think that Red Robin might have been a little better option, but I'm a big fan of that California chicken burger and the Mountain High Mud Pie from Red Robin. Let's go grab that 24 and do that same test with the 2024 Gretsch on the 23 Sprinter chassis, and then we'll take that for a little bit of a test drive and really test that motor and that transmission. All right, guys, so we just got in the 24 Gretsch Strata Ion. That AC is running on high right now, and I can barely hear it. A huge improvement from the 2023. And that's one thing is like, if Andrew was in the back editing videos, it was difficult to hear each other. We kind of had to shout over the AC. It's definitely a huge improvement, but I'm excited to drive this. And again, a huge thanks to the folks at Gretsch RV for giving us the opportunity to check out this new 24. This is a new transmission that's supposed to be a lot more responsive than the previous transmission. I'm gonna hammer down on it right out of the gate here, going up a hill. So there's no lag. 
it's a definitely a different feel even when I take my foot off of the gas sometimes the transmission was a little bit jumpy I've been driving sprinters for so long that I'm used to it. Let's see how quickly we can get the power going here. From zero to 49 miles an hour, I think is what we're gonna have to uh, keep it at. We are fighting a little bit of traffic here, so. So we may have to go on a little longer test drive to get you guys a proper, this isn't really from the go, but. All right, let's see how long it takes us to get zero to 49, 30, 40, 45, boom, 49. I mean, that was significantly quicker. We'd have to time both of them, get them in the same uh, circumstances to really get a true test drive, but definitely a tighter transmission within one minute of, of driving it. It's a little bit quicker. Yeah, so we got stopped at a stoplight here right outside of the Hershey Company. Uh, looks like their headquarters right here. So Andrew, you want to go sit in the back of the van and just kind of see how it how it compares right in the back of the van to the other one. All right, I'm going to hammer down, buddy. Feel more power. Really? Yeah. And we can talk to each other, too. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, the Acura TL did beat us off the line, but 100% more power, though. And a smoother, how did the smoothness in the back feel when I, I mean, I was fully hammered down. How did that feel compared to? I mean, I felt a kick for sure, but it's still smooth. Much smoother than the 23, you think? Yeah. All right, we're gonna go up a hill here. I'm gonna hammer up a hill. Pennsylvania State Police Academy, probably not the best place to be test driving zero to 60, especially when there's police officers coming the other way. Oh, he's checking me out for sure. Oh, check this out, look. Definitely not the right place. All right, we're getting out of here. Don't mind us. We're just RVers. So that's one of the nice things about the Sprinter van versus Class A and larger RVs. They are test driving a bunch of other RVs. With the Sprinter van, we can make a U-turn even when we pull down a road that goes into a police facility where we're not authorized a Class A motorhome. It would have been much more of a debacle to try to get out of here. So, all right, we made it in and out of the police station without getting pulled over, fortunately. We are having a little difficulty here navigating back to the test drive lot. We should have paid a little closer attention to the directions. So that's a test drive lot right there. It says, do not enter in one way. But since we're in a Class B van, that looks like a nice little driveway for us. What do you guys think? I mean. Is that breaking rules? Should I have gone a different way or was that okay? You definitely couldn't have done that in a class A or a class C. Even maybe a B plus wouldn't have fit, but uh, class B coming in clutch again. But we're gonna go back to the Gretsch display here. Let's see if we can get AJ from Gretsch to kind of break down the latest and greatest that's going on at Gretsch here. Now, what else is new with Gretsch? Anything new coming soon? Outside of the new chassis changes we just discussed with Mercedes, we are gonna be launching a new twin bed on our Turismo model. So that will be a power twin bed that uh, we'll be launching here in the next 30 days or so. So that'll be exciting as well because that'll give the opportunity of kind of a luxury adventure van, if you will. Will give us a center aisle option for people that wanna transport their gear, whether it be a bike, surfboard, what have you. Still be our fit and finish and quality of an interior, but a power twin bed with that center aisle when you open up the rear doors. So it's important to note that, you know, all 2024 Gretsch RV model year units are built on that 2023 redesigned new powertrain Mercedes Benz Sprinter chassis. A lot of our competitors might be calling a 2024 model year unit that are built on the 2022 previous generation chassis. So it's important for the buyers to be aware of that. That's yeah. a big difference because not only for the comfort and creature comforts but the resale value on that when they go to resell that van the chassis is two years before the build we've seen that on the Prevo yeah. conversion side where if there's a delay it does affect value so that's definitely Absolutely. good information and trust me once you drive the new powertrain you're going to want the new powertrain oh, yeah. the new engine and transmission is superb yeah i'm sold for mercedes sure. has done a phenomenal job they're incredible partners of course and they build the best product out there in the van world so now gretch you know builds a ton of rvs but you guys have a lot of 
much stuff going on on the transportation side of things. Anything new on the other side of the business at all? Or on our luxury shuttle bus side of life, you know, we're building on the Ford F Series chassis, the Freightliner S2 chassis from our partners at Freightliner Custom Chassis. So we'll be launching a new luxury shuttle bus model on the Freightliner chassis here next March or so. We're pretty excited about that. Hopefully that platform will uh, lend itself to the future development of a Super C for us too. Looking forward to seeing what you come up with. And when I had a chance to film with you in Riverside, California, we got some of the footage from the factory showing how the Gretsch shuttle buses are put together. Yeah. And really cool to see the structure. And it's a, a lot of the stuff that we don't see that really makes the quality another level up in these Gretsches. Now, is there anything on the manufacturing side that we're not seeing any improvements that have been made recently? You know, the next new model that's coming out that I'm excited for you to see is going to be our Luso. Uh, our Luso is going to be uh, a very high-end private class transportation vehicle. Some people might call this a weekender, a private jet on wheels. So I'm excited for you to see that. We'll have that ready for you to see in October. AJ, I know you have a lot going on here at the show. It's a lot of folks here at the Gretsch display. So thanks again for taking the time to share that with us. Appreciate you, sir. As always, thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Yeah, my pleasure. Also appreciate all of you that are subscribing. We hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you.